Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have this week's details for the official CIG content, and as expected, it's going to be a good one. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members, in particular to my latest channel member, Dave Sokol, and to my latest patron, Mark Turner. Thank you guys for your support. It is truly appreciated. So let's get straight into this week in Star Citizen, kicking off with Tuesday. The narrative team are releasing a new lawmakers article that will explain the concept and law of regeneration in the verse. Now this I am extremely interested in, as in the past they have only briefly mentioned it without really fully explaining the process with 100% certainty since we started doing this sort of DNA integrity thing. So it'll be a great starting point to learn the exact hows and whys of this important step into the verse and getting closer to death of a spaceman. And I will probably break it down into a separate video just to let other people know how death and regeneration works in the verse going forwards from 3.15. On Wednesday, we have a new roadmap update and a data infographic from the last Xenothread event. I do wonder if this week's roadmap update will have any of 315's featured slipping. Personally, what I'm most excited for is now committed anyway, so I'm not too concerned. And I can only really see the AI shops and patrons deliverable being the one that slips. As I do expect the hospitals and clinics and medical tools will become committed this week because we need them for the healing gameplay, so they can't really be pushed to another patch. And then that will only leave the ships, which I don't see any of them slipping to 3.16. Maybe some of them will be delayed till 3.15.x patch, but still within the 3.15 branch. From what we've seen, I wouldn't expect so, especially not the Redeemer. The Redeemer, I think, is practically ready to go, but we will see. I do expect there is far more to 3.15 that we don't know about that will make it into the 3.15 build. Whether we see any of those appear on this week's roadmap update or maybe just in the patch notes and then spoken about later on, I don't know. I do feel like they will probably talk about a lot of that stuff at CitizenCon, but I am almost certain that we haven't seen all that 315 will have to offer. On Thursday, we will have another Inside Star Citizen, which is said to be an episode-long sprint report, which is just music to my ears. Cannot wait to catch that one. Of course, we will watch it together on Twitch on Friday but I do love these sprint reports. Talking of Friday, this brings the usual update to the subscriber vault and weekly RSI newsletter, plus a new issue of Jump Point, which feels pretty early, uh, but I am happy to receive it nonetheless. There will also be a new Star Citizen Live with more details of its guests, subject matter and time coming later on this week. Personally, I am hoping it's a 3.15 Q&A, although I think they will likely save that more for CitizenCon. But most importantly, this Friday, CIG will be revealing all of the details for this year's Digital CitizenCon, including its panels, upcoming contests, giveaways, and more. My hype cannot be contained. I will most certainly do a dedicated video just highlighting what is going to happen at CitizenCon and what we're going to see based on the schedule. So do keep your eyes out for that one. In other news, Ship Showdown is now into the semi-finals with the remaining four ships going head to head. Now it is in this phase, being phase two, the remaining four ships have been made available to fly for free until September 27th at 8pm UTC time. So everyone gets access to the Crusader Hercules C2, the Argo MPUV or Argo Cargo as it's known, the Origin 600i and the Mercury Star Runner. Now I'm not 100% certain if these ships will be available to those who have already pledged for the game or whether this free fly is open to anyone with an account. I do think it is the latter. I think you can play Star Citizen for free and get access to those ships by just having an account. You don't have to have bought anything. But if you haven't signed up yet, do make sure that you use a referral code as you will receive some in-game credits. And if you have a friend who is already a backer, ask them for their referral code as they get a little kickback as well. Or simply just use the referral code linked in the video description and shown in the top left of the screen. And if you do enjoy playing 314, which I will say is not the best patch to come into Star Citizen, it is plagued with a few more bugs than normal. But if you do like what you see and you wanna take the plunge and buy in, CIG are offering discounted starter packages for either the Mustang Alpha or the Aurora MR. Personally, I would choose the Aurora as it has a bit of space inside for you to drop boxes. So you can kind of do a few more missions in the verse, but ultimately it is up to yourselves based on which design you like the most. 
Uh, and if you are new and feeling a little overwhelmed with Star Citizen, or you just have some questions, or you want to hang out with a, an amazing community and talk and get hyped for Citizen Conan 315, then feel free to stop by my stream at twitch.tv forward slash Super Mac Brothers Ryan. You can ask me anything. I may even be live right now. Also, relating to the ship showdown, each of these ships will be highlighted at this year's Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, or the IAE, which is usually held around November time. And not only will each ship get its brand new best-in-show paint scheme, but also exclusive manufacturer-themed in-game leather jackets. So anyone who owns one of these ships will receive that on their account, with the first place winner of the ship showdown getting a special themed in-game backpack, which is pretty nice. All prizes will be released at this year's Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, so don't expect to see them until then, and that is, as I say, around November time. So, it is going to be quite a hype-filled week, with so much content and news coming out this week. Kicking off today, in fact, being Tuesday with the new law post explaining regeneration. Something that I have been waiting to get a full official explanation on. Also, I'm excited for the roadmap update and the one long episode sprint report on Inside Star Citizen. And of course, the CitizenCon details all in one week. Man, the run-up to Citizen Con and 315 is going to be manic. I also do expect to see 315 dip its toes into the Evocati territory this week. So do keep your eyes out for that. I will cover the patch notes when they do drop. But with that said, we will certainly be breaking down this week in Star Citizen and all the information over on Twitch and discussing this 315 and Citizen Con in detail. So be sure to join me over there. Please consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content and helping the channel to grow. And if you can do me a big favor and hit that thumbs up, I would certainly appreciate it. Tick the bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. Again, huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Cannot do this without you guys. Really appreciate the support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.